I've been carrying a cryptic pregnancy for the entire month of pregnancy. How do you know that you are in labor? What are the signs and symptoms to show you that ah, you are going into labor? What are the signs and symptoms to tell you that now baby is coming? So welcome back to my channel, everybody. In this video, we're going to be looking at the signs and symptoms of labor in cryptic pregnancy. So if you've not been following up on this cryptic pregnancy, then you need to ensure you stay tuned and watch this video to the very end. And kindly give this video a thumbs up as you watch. I mean, right now, hit the like button now. And for people that have not subscribed, kindly subscribe and turn on notifications so you continue to get updates. Thank you so much, my returning subscribers. You guys are the real MVP. I really appreciate you. Now we're going to go straight into looking at labor signs and symptoms in cryptic pregnancy. Welcome back everyone. Now cryptic pregnancy is a pregnancy that go unnoticed up until the 20th week or sometimes until the time of delivery. Now this woman with cryptic pregnancy in most cases do not know that she is pregnant. Some even lose weight during the period of this pregnancy. So they just live their normal life, no prenatal care, no um, ultrasound, no doctor's care, no visit and all of this. But then this woman is eventually going to be going into labor at the end of this pregnancy because cryptic pregnancy is not going to be lasting forever. We are going to deliver this child. So what are some of the signs and symptoms to look out for when it is time to deliver a baby in cryptic pregnancy? Now the signs and symptoms of labor and delivery in cryptic pregnancy is the same with what every other woman will get in their pregnancies. Once you have carried this pregnancy till 10, you are going to be getting the same labor signs and symptoms. The only thing is by the time this uh, signs starts, by the time you begin to feel the signs and symptoms of labor, you would not know it is labor coming. Some mistake it to be maybe a ruptured appendix. Some mistake it to be a strangulated hernia. Some mistake it to be something else aside pregnancy until they are checked. So the signs and symptoms of labor in cryptic pregnancy are just the same as the signs and symptoms of labor in other pregnancy. One is contraction. Now when you go into labor, you feel contraction. Ah, the cramps is so severe. Sometimes you cannot do anything. The cramps is so severe. You cannot sit, you cannot stand. That's the kind of cramp you have when you go into labor. And in cryptic pregnancy labor, it is the same thing. You're going to feel that very severe cramp. And that is why I said most times it is mistaken for a ruptured appendix and the rest because it is usually very severe, just like the contraction and cramps you get in every other pregnancy. Number two is stretching of the cervix. Now you get stretching of the cervix in an attempt to dilate for the baby to come out in other pregnancies. And so with cryptic pregnancy labor, you're going to be getting stretching of your cervix. Your cervix will stretch as contraction is ongoing, the cramps is ongoing, the cervix is also going to stretch. And it is by stretching that the cervix tends to open. So yeah, you're going to be getting stretching of the cervix with cryptic pregnancy labor as well. And then the next one is dilatation of the cervix. Now, when you are in labor in any other pregnancy, your cervix dilates. And that's the same thing that happens with cryptic pregnancy. You're going to be getting dilatation of your cervix. And once the cervix is dilated, the body um, is meant to push out the baby through the bed canal. And that is exactly what happened with cryptic pregnancy, labor and delivery. So yeah, cryptic pregnancy, labor and delivery is same with all other labor and delivery for other pregnancies. So once you have carried cryptic pregnancy to term, labor and delivery is going to be the same way with labor and delivery for every other pregnancy. The only difference is at the initial stage, you might not know that you have gone into labor. You might not know that it is labor because you didn't have knowledge of this pregnancy. So that is it about labor and delivery in cryptic pregnancy. If you've not given this video a thumbs up at this point, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you've not done so. Turn on notifications so you keep getting updates. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next one. Bye.